Hey everyone, welcome back to How to Your Gavin. Still a bit of an echo in here. It might be because of the high ceilings, to be honest. I do need some more things in the living room. This is the first day of me being in my new place. I am still so very, very weirded out. So yeah, this is going to be a uh, first week of my new house vlog. There might be some reading in it. I really hope there is reading in it because I have so much that I have to do and so much to read. I have an event on Thursday as well and I need to get prepared for that. But mind you, the natural lighting in this house is incredible. I love it. I'll show you around a little bit more now that I've got more stuff in here. But just bear in mind, a lot of this will be changing. This is just temporary. So yeah, I'll show you around. So as you can see, I've got my TV and everything all there and set up. My drinks trolley, which I don't think I actually showed you in the last one. I don't think I probably showed you guys the drinks trolley in the last one, but I've got a couple of cocktail books there, which is awesome. Really just bare minimum stuff at the minute. <laughs> got some of my plant things on the side there. They might move, I don't know, might go for a bit of cottage core in this kind of room. Going to the kitchen, I do have my fridge freezer and I've just done my first shop. And yes, that is a lot of Pepsi, but to be fair, they were on special. Yeah, so I did my first shop and yeah, these are the stuff that I have at the minute. I also have stuff in the freezer. I know this is probably boring to you guys, but ice. Ice, ice, baby. Definitely be making a cold drink later. Um, yeah, just some random stuff. A rookie error of mine is I put the bread on the bottom and it squashed the bread in the bag. But fortunately, I think I've knocked it back into shape, which is good. So I've got my coffee machine here as well. Microwave. I mean, I don't have much bench space at all. So things will move, I think. I, I don't know what's going to happen, to be honest. Got the toaster over there. Stairs into the backyard, which still needs doing up. It still needs to get all the rubbish taken out from whatever happened before I moved in. So I won't show you that yet. But yeah, trusty coffee machine. If it wasn't so hot, I would make one right now. In fact, I might make a pot noodle because I am a little bit peckish. Anyway, I want to show you what I'm about to do because I'm about to film my bookshelf organization video because I still haven't done really anything in the library room yet apart from put the shelves up ish. I put them where I kind of want them so I'll show you those. So there's a lot of great natural light in this room which is going to be fantastic however I really hope the neighbors over that side won't keep hearing in when I'm filming. So I'll have all of the books on the floor in no particular order either. A lot of that is definitely needing sorting out and I'm dreading it. Got the Wi-Fi box there too. <laughs> I'm so glad this is the um, the library room, honestly. It's gonna be so good. I just need to get everything done. That is what I wanna spend the majority of today doing, I think. I really don't think I've got enough battery for this, even though it's fully charged now. I don't think I've got enough battery. Office room is just absolutely in shambles. It's a tip. I really just have boxes and things in here. It really needs sorting out, <laughs> which I will do eventually. The bathroom, have a little bit more in there. I finally have a mirror too which is good because why did this place not have a mirror before? It's so weird. Let's go up the stairs to the boudoir. So this is the area where I want to have my little memorial place. So I need a little table, probably a wooden one, maybe a, a plant, a floor plant as well, just to make it all nice. But yeah, I will be putting my cat sashes on a table. Don't worry about that. Bedroom still needs doing, but I have crap on the floor. That bed is getting changed, honestly. <laughs> Nothing really different in here. Get myself all ready for doing the bookshelf organisation video, which is going to take a while, I think. At the minute, I am still reading The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I'm only about 140 pages in. Don't know how much more I'm going to get read this week, but hopefully I will. What else do I need to read? I need to read City of Rust for, well, by Gemma Fowler for Middle Grade Monthly. I just need to try and find time when I can find time. I absolutely hate the fact that I've moved during a really hot summer. I constantly move and things and sweating and just feeling gross all of the time. But at least I have like a shower now. I only had a bath at my mum's. This has a shower. In fact, it has like two showers, one upstairs, one downstairs. I'm so happy about that. I will actually be able to shower every morning instead of faffing on with a bath. And it'll be awesome. And like, I'm so excited and happy. Obviously, it was quite emotional today when my mum and sister dropped me off. And I mean, props to my mum and sister. They really went all out for me. They 
did so much for me. They carried so much for me. And when I went for my food shop, my mum put things away. She did a phenomenal job. So thank you so much, mummy. But yeah, I'm going to make a pot noodle for my first official food in the house. Actually, no, it's not the first official. Because I had a takeaway <laughs> a couple of weeks ago when I first came in here. Then I had a McDonald's like a week ago when I waited for the Wi-Fi man. So this is the first official proper since moving in properly food. I'm also going to crack open a bottle of wine later as well. I managed to get some wine for later, I think. Even though I'm at work tomorrow, I'm not at work until late or in the day. So yeah, that'll be fun. So yeah, I will see you in the next update. It's just taken us five hours to film my bookshelf organisation video. Or at least like trying to sort out all of those books and put them on the shelves. So it isn't really done 100% because I do need another shelf. However, I will leave a link to that video down below because yeah, that video will be up by now. I've decided to open a bottle of wine before I edit because, yeah, I mean, first night in the house, I've just spent five hours doing that. I'm knackered. I want to crack open the wine, so I'm just going to put you down. Yeah, I just got myself my Jemmy Red Roo, which I love. I'm just going to have a glass of wine to say job well done. Congrats, Gav, on the new house. I say bottoms up. So I want to put that back on the drinks trolley. I just wanted to update you and let you know that I'm I'm drinking wine. No reading done. <laughs> Obviously, that's not going to happen today. Hopefully, I can get back into the swing of reading tomorrow now that I've got so much out of the way. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Day two in the house. I've just finished work and it is, what, 9.30pm. Well, I haven't just finished work. I got in from work about like... Well, 45 minutes ago maybe, but I decided because I had a £10 Just Eat voucher that I was going to get a Chinese and I have, like one of my favourite all-time foods is aromatic duck and I am so excited because I haven't had it in so long, but I did have that £10 off thing and it only cost me £1.22. I'm like, this is my second night in this house and I need to get something that's going to be like, oh, yes. I mean, I will probably cook eventually, I promise. I will. I have a sound sunset about to start as well so that when the food comes, I have something to watch. And then after that, actually, I am going to be reading something. Oh my God. I want to read Adam 2 by Alistair Chisholm and I am currently 50 pages in. I'm really enjoying it so far. I think it's pretty good. I will let you know what it's about and my thoughts on it a bit more in a bit. But I did just want to check in, say I didn't really sleep that much last night, like my first proper night. It is quite hot up in that room and I'm not the biggest fan of sleeping with the windows open. I get a little bit paranoid, but I think I'm going to have to because it was just so hot. And I did open them and stand there for like about 10 minutes and it was so nice and so peaceful just to, you know, it was so dark outside and it was really peaceful down the street and the breeze was coming in. That was lovely. But then I shut them and then went to bed. But I think I need to get used to just leaving them open when it's this hot because that room is like a greenhouse. All the heat rises and it just, it accumulates in that room. So I need to be better at that so that I can actually sleep. I have work tomorrow as well. I wanna have a nice early morning. Like honestly, it was so nice this morning, just getting up. I made some avocado and toast. I had a coffee and it was just nice. I had to wait for the Sevilla to come, which was fine. But I also need to ring the maintenance man or somebody who works on the house because the boiler doesn't really work. When I say it doesn't work, it means I don't really know how the fuck to turn it on. <laughs> like I press the button and stuff, but it keeps saying flame failure and I don't know what that means. So he better get that sorted because I have no hot water. Like what the hell man? I mean, at the minute it's not too bad because it's that hot. I don't really need it because I'm just having like a, a cold shower and honestly it's so great in this heat. But I mean, when I wash my dishes, I want hot water. I'm gonna have to shave soon. I want hot water for that. So hopefully I'm gonna ring that person in the morning and then see what happens. But yeah, I'm so excited for seven sunset. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh, you can tell I am thirsty as fuck. In Sun and Sunset, I, I honestly think it's fake. I, I don't think it is, but I think it is at the same time. It is like a reality show. It is mainly showing like really rich houses, like really expensive houses. And it's a bit like keeping up with the Kardashians meets a place in the sun. And I love a place in the sun. And I love the Kardashians as well, to be fair. Anyway, I'm so excited. 
I hope the food gets here ASAP because I'm so hungry. Yeah, I will check in again with maybe a reading update. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, it's technically Saturday, but I'm counting it as Friday night. I've <laughs> been a responsible adult. I've just ironed my clothes for in the morning so I don't have to do them before I go to work because I have work early. I was at work today and I did some stuff. I did some filming the past couple of days because I didn't really update you guys since I think Tuesday. And I had pretty much started Adam 2 by Alistair Chisholm, and I finished it last night. I joined Jade's Patreon Reading Sprints, and I had a blast. I, it was amazing. I was on there with Cody and Ro, and I managed to read more of this, and then once the live finished, I finished it. So it was really, really good. I think I'm going to give it 3.5 slash 4 stars. I loved Orion Lost so much. I knew it couldn't quite get to those heights, but I really enjoyed the story in this. And one of the best things about this book as well is that one of the main characters is non-binary and they say explicitly exactly what non-binary is. What I loved about it as well is that this didn't skirt around being non-binary or anything like that. The character tells Adam, who is the robot who has been in a basement for over 200 years, says that they are non-binary and Adam asks, well what are your pronouns? And I was just like, the fact that you're explicitly asking in a children's book, that is just, oh, amazing. I was so happy to say that, like just for that alone, Oh my god, five stars for characters, like seriously. I really enjoy the characters, I really enjoyed the story of it. So we did have Adam, who, yeah, is a robot, and he lived in, well, a basement for over 200 years. Two kids end up stumbling across him and tells him about, you know, that there was this whole, like, war between, you know, artificial intelligence, robots, and humans. They each hate each other, and there's, like, a lot of war going on, a lot of death, and Adam is very conflicted about what's going on and I love the exploration of that. I love the exploration of the environment of like what humanity does to the planet but also kind of how similar we are to other people so like differences are celebrated but I mean differences are kind of examined quite a lot to begin with and then finally celebrated. Um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. And this is, I think, only the third book I've read so far this month. And it is, honestly, it is the worst reading month I've ever had since joining Booktube. Even since before joining Booktube. Since I started working in the bookshop. Like, but I am currently reading The Adventures of Pinocchio by Carlo Collodi. And oh my lord. It is... It's already been a bit dark. I don't want to say too much about it because I want to do a How Well Disney Adapted Stories video and I'm doing the golden age of Disney animation, so Snow White, Pinocchio and Bambi because Dumbo and Fantasia weren't based on adaptations. But yeah, this is what inspired Pinocchio and something happened in chapter four and I'm still like speechless, speechless. So I will talk about that in the video where I talk about Disney and adaptations. But also look what came today, The House in the Woods by Yvette Fielding, the first in the Ghost Hunter Chronicles. This is a middle grade ghost story, but you guys do know who Yvette Fielding is, don't you? The host of Most Haunted, one of my like guilty pleasure shows growing up. I loved that show. It was phenomenal. It was so entertaining. It, I mean, it was fake as fuck, but it was so entertaining. But yeah, she's writing ghost stories for children now, and I'm loving that, so I cannot wait to read it. I'm not reading it until October, though. I have just gotten the... You know, well, th I think this is the final copy, actually, because I don't think it's a proof. It's got the price on. It doesn't have a date. Or anything. I think it's the final copy, but it doesn't come out until the 30th of September. I'm gonna go. I do want to go to bed. I did have issues with the boiler and some unpaid debt from a previous tenant on the gas meter, but that's all sorted now. I finally have running hot water, as well as heating, but I don't need heating because I'm already dying of heat. <laughs> oh yeah, I also did the Frost Heart 3 cover reveal today on Twitter. That was awesome. So honored I got to do it. You know, it's the third and final in the series. It's one of my favourite series. By the time this goes up, 
the video will be up, so I can say it, I can mention it in this video. So I am doing Frost Heart Along, which is going to be a read along, dedicated to reading the Frost Heart series. And I will have an announcement video, and I'll link it down below, it will be up by now, so I can share it. But yeah, do check that out if you want to join in. Anyway, I should go to bed, because I am, I do have to be up early, and it's after midnight. So, yeah, I hope you guys have had a good week too. Like, it's been so weird, so weird being in this house. I mean, I barely had time to actually, like, enjoy being in this house. I've been doing lots of other stuff and work, but, yeah, I can definitely feel like I'm getting used to it and I'm so excited. And I was at work today and then I'm at work for the next two days, so we'll see how things go. I'll see how the rest of this vlog goes. I think Adam 2 will be the only book that I read in this vlog because I am reading Pinocchio and I don't want to talk about it in this vlog. Oh, actually, on Sunday, I will be doing a live show, a reading race with Jade from JD Ray Reads, and we are going to read the Middle Grade Monthly book for July. Yep, uh, July, I'm going to try and race each other and see who finishes the first during, like, the live show, like, the reading sprints. So that'll be really fun. I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, that's all I've got to say. So I will read that in this vlog too. So essentially it's a middle grade vlog too. Who knew? So yeah, I will see you in the next update. Pay absolutely no attention to the fact that I'm wearing this again. It is the Saturday night. This has kind of turned into my coming home from work kind of change of attire. Just so comfortable. I'm about to start my Patreon live show doing the Disney Watch Along. And we are watching Bambi. Woo! I'm so scared. Honestly, when we get to a certain moment, which I'm sure you guys will know what it is, I'm turning off the camera. Because the way I do it is I watch the movie, the camera's on me, and everyone just hits play at the same time. So everyone's watching it at home, I'm watching it on Disney+, Plus. people are watching it on theirs, on DVD, and we just chat in the comments, and it's really fun, I absolutely love doing it. And it's like the highlight of my Saturday nights now. And I am going to make myself some rum and Pepsi. Oh, there's seven minutes until the live show starts. So. We also do drinking games as well. And say for like Snow White, we had to drink every single time Snow White started to sing. Or when a dwarf acted like their name and things like that. And honestly, the Pinocchio one as well. It was every time you told a lie, every time someone said the name Pinocchio or Pinocchio. It was just like loads of them and we just kept having to drink and it was ridiculous. So I'm gonna get some ice for this. But yeah, that was really fun still. I can't wait to see what the Bambi drinking game is because it, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. I really need to finish Pinocchio. I need to finish Pinocchio. I think that's enough rum, right? There's nothing really else to say to be honest. There was something else I wanted to say and I've forgotten. But yeah, honestly, it's weird because this doesn't feel like a the best reading vlog because I'm not going to be talking about Pinocchio. I've already talked about Adam 2 by Alistair Chisholm, which I'm doing an interview with him next week. Well, actually, by the time this goes up, it'll be on Friday when I do this. Friday, July 30th. So I will leave a link to that down below as well. It should be announced by now. And well, if not, Gavin, what the hell are you doing? It's going to be a good week. It's going to be a good week. Got some Java cakes and we're going to watch Bambi. And I'm so excited. <laughs> Yes, I'm so excited. Okay, I will check it again tomorrow. It'll probably be a short, you know, wrap up of how the week went and how I'm feeling in my house for the first time and all of that. So probably don't expect any more reading updates. I want to finish Pinocchio. I'll be reading City of Rust with Jade tomorrow after work and it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a really good time. So the first week in the new house has gone pretty well, and how many home-cooked meals have I made? Um, one? <laughs> I just had soup before and I drank it through a straw, and I like drinking soup through a straw, I know that's really random, but I was on, well I'm still on actually, the live show's still happening over there, we're on a break. 
I was drinking soup through a straw because I realised I hadn't eaten since I finished work and I had to have something to eat. I would have had something to eat sooner, but I wanted to win the reading race that I was doing with Jade on Jade's channel for Middle Grade Monthly and I did win. I did win, but only by about like 15, 20 minutes. It was neck and neck. It was very, very close. And it was so much fun. I really want to do it again. So I think me and Jade are going to do it again next month. It's going to be for the Shark Caller by Zilla Bethel. And that one's also going to be really good. And because it was quite close this time, it might be another close one. Who knows? Maybe Jade might win. She needs to train a bit more if she's going to make that happen. But yeah, out of the last seven days that I've been at home, I've worked five of them and I have been filming on the days I've been off and editing and reading. I mean, reading as much as possible. I mean, I only read, what, like two books before this week and I've actually managed to finish Pinocchio. I've got so much to say about this and oh, I'm going to talk about it in a Disney video. And I also managed to finish the Grimm's Fairy Tale of Snow White. That was only like seven pages. So yeah, I'll talk about that in the Disney video too. But I did manage to finish City of Rust by Gemma Fowler. And it was really, really good. I think it's going to be a high three star, low four star. And I really enjoyed... Oh wait, I need to tell you what it's about. It's essentially set in a world where humanity has fucked the planet up, essentially. And there is... It's really bizarre, actually. I didn't know this going into it, but, like, there's rubbish kind of orbiting the Earth, but it's called the soup. So it's kind of like this. And, like, it orbits the atmosphere and stuff, and it's just literally lots of rubbish and things that humanity has disposed of over the years. There's even, like, an airplane, which... Uh, there's actually a really cool scene on an airplane that happens really, really good. But we follow Rayleigh and her gecko, Abby, and they love racing. They love doing, like, drone racing and things. But something happens which causes them to have to kind of go on this little adventure to stop this huge trash bomb from you know, destroying Earth, essentially. Really good story. I was very invested. I will say I didn't really feel, like, connected to it. I loved Atty, Atty's the Gecko, and it's just, I love their personality, and I felt like they definitely had more personality than, like, other characters. And I'll talk about this more in the Middle Grade Monthly Live show. But yeah, I just, I felt like I only really... I mean, I liked a lot of the characters. There's another character called Care, who is somebody who you may not like to begin with, but you do start to like them a bit more as it goes on, which is really good. Lots of good stuff in this. I'll talk about it in the Middle Grade Monthly Live show. So I will be starting Bambi, A Life in the Woods by Felix Salton, and I will probably not start it until tomorrow. I meet a couple of friends tomorrow. I need to edit this. <laughs> Unless I do it tonight. It is nearly midnight though, so maybe not. How long is left on the sprint? There's still 18 minutes left on the sprint, so it's fine. I want to try and get some things for the walls to stop the echo as well. So hopefully in the next video, all this echoing will... But I would say that the first week in the new house has been a resounding success. I feel like I can breathe. I feel like I have more time to do the things that I'd love to do and I can't wait until things really properly settle down so that I can just sit down, relax and enjoy it. And I haven't watched any more Silent Sunset and I'm gutted because I want to watch more of it but I'm sure that time will come soon. Anyway, I am going to end it here and say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. I don't know what the next video is going to be and I love not knowing. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye.